The next muscle we will be covering is the latissimus dorsi muscle. This is a big muscle that runs all the way here and it runs up and it attaches to the humerus. Before we do all the attachments of this muscle, let's just do a quick recap on the anatomy of the skeleton. So we're going to start with the spine of the skeleton. You get the cervical region, thoracic region, lumbar region, and then you get the sacrum. In your, in your um, cervical, cervical spine, there are seven vertebrae. In your thoracic spine, you get 12 thoracic vertebrae. In your lumbar spine, you get five lumbar vertebrae. Your sacrum is fused five vertebrae, and your coccyx fused four vertebrae. Okay, so when you look at the hips, okay, or the pelvis, okay, this is your hip bone. Your hip bone is divided into three parts. You get your ilium, you can hear there. You get your ischium at the back, which is the bone you sit on, and you get your pubic bone in front. Okay. Look at the attachments of the latissimus dorsi muscle. It's got quite a few um, places where it originates. So we're going to start with the spine. It originates at the spinous processes of T7, T7, all the way down to L5. It also attaches to the posterior aspect of the sacrum, the iliac crest, the racolumbar fascia that sits at the bottom here, the lower four ribs, the inferior angle of the scapula, and then it inserts into the intertubercular groove of the humerus. The function of the latissimus dorsi muscle is extension of the shoulder, medial rotation, and adduction of the shoulder joints.